Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be Taurus and Moon and Rising. Our weekly tarot reading for May 6th to May 12th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to just shuffle the cards and we can go straight away uh, to the spread. Alright, so the first card which represents the uh, Taurus's topic of the week, that is going to be the Tree of Pentacles, followed by the second card which shows the challenges the Taurus needs to uh, overcome for throughout the week, that is going to be the uh, Lover's card. Third one which is the positive aspect or what helps you throughout the week, that is to be the Tree of Swords. And then the last one that we do have is the Guidance. The tarot is offering to you guys we have the ten of cups so once again uh, three of pentacles followed by the uh, lovers card which is the challenge then what helps you throughout the week that is going to be the three of swords and then the last one that you do have guys uh, it's the um, general guidance of tarot that tarot is offering to you we do have the ten of cups all right, so uh, just from the general glance here, that is a, a very, um, I would say broad reading because it, it relates to a lot of things or it can relate to a lot of things, but the general <clears throat> meaning of the reading itself is that you are to improve yourself uh, or to improve your performance that is in one of the fields or maybe in many of the fields in your life. And that is gonna happen through realizing, you know, that you can learn more from those which are around you. Excuse me, I have something in my eye. All right, so uh, that being said, going to the first card more profoundly, which is the uh, Tree of Pentacles, the general topic, the card does represents that you are going to be supported through your development <clears throat> with a uh, constructive criticism and cooperation as well. Both of those are going to be a, um, implemented into the week. So the Tree of Pentacles does show that you are either going to be well, I could say thought or rather like, uh, well, how do you say it when someone show you how to do something? I mean, we, we are going to have, we, in my, in my language, we have a uh, specific word for that. But yeah, I mean, you're going to be shown how to do something to its mere perfection. And that will force as well, like I said, some constructive criticism that you may at first, you may take it very personally in a sense of that, you know, you may start thinking that these people are giving you mental cruelty, they're insulting you, they're humiliating you and so on and so forth. But the thing with this car is that if you are not going to, if you are not given that constructive criticism, simply you ain't going to listen and therefore you ain't going to stop doing what you're not supposed to do because with this card, it does look like that there, if not a, a better, at least more efficient way for you to either perform into your job or to perform into your relationship either. So the whole, the, the, that, that, uh, that whole process 
is going to force as well a, a cooperation in between you and that person or group of people which are to support you through your development, uh, either career-wise or relationship-wise. And as well, is going to force a fruitful discussions, you know, how you can achieve a better things, how you can be simply better either into, you know, into your career or into your relationship. So you're going to be taught, you're going to be uh, teached, and it does look like that you may be also become an, an apprentice of some sort. That card now that I think of, you know, it could also represent that, for example, you and your husband can't find the right way, you know, to make your marriage, let's say, work. But uh, should you consult yourself with couples therapists, let's say, uh, that will, the, the way how you can strengthen your marriage, for example, it doesn't have to be with your husband, it could be with your wife as well, if you are a male, you know, but the way how you can strengthen your marriage is going to be given to you through that couples therapist and that couples therapist is going to be very blunt when they tell you what is wrong, you know, and how you can fix it. The accompanied card that is going to be the judgment. The formation is a passive neutrals that we do have here. So uh, uh, what the judgment here points with the tree of uh, pentacles is, is that it is not too late, you know, for you to traverse a situation or a uh, undertaking enterprise endeavor, you name it, that you think that it's not going to work out into a uh, enterprise or endeavor that is to work out for you so it does look like guys that you are to uh, achieve a significant improvement in a field in your life throughout this week um in a field of your life that you think that it's it's simply beyond beyond saving beyond repair or something like that but this is only if you listen all right so you have to listen what those who have more experience or which professional or which profession is in this field to help you and to give you that constructive uh, criticism so don't cry like so don't cry like a baby if uh, someone is criticizing you you know especially if that is someone there to you or it's someone that you paid for that criticism to to come to you for example you know let's say you come to me to, for a tarot reading you know and i criticize you for something that you did right well you shouldn't feel bad about it it's just you gotta learn from it because <clears throat> you asked for someone else's opinion all right and if you're not willing to take whatever that opinion is then you shouldn't ask for opinion in the first place but that leads us to the second card which is the general challenge that you will have to overcome for throughout the week and that is the lover's card so the lover's card in the grand scheme of thing, it, things it does point that uh, it is unlikely as well that through this cooperation and through these um, advices that you are to receive from either a person or a group of people you are to find out a, a miraculous solution to your problems. It is just what, what is going to happen is that you will start becoming more and more convinced that those problems aren't going to solve on their own accord problems into your marriage, for example, or problems into your career. But you will have to roll up your sleeves and start doing the dirty work, start attending to the chores there, which are uh, substantial for the resolution of the problems and plights that you may face. Additionally to that, the lover's card, it does point that you are to find it rather quite challenging to establish a harmonious flow into the majority of your relationships. And that is due to the fact with the lovers that you either have a, a different interests you and your suitor, for example, you and your husband or a wife, you and your colleagues and so on and so forth. Or, uh, you know, you have a different idea how the thing should go forward. Now, uh, when I said a challenge, uh, I really meant it because just because you do have a different ideas or a different perspectives, that doesn't mean that the, this Thing that you want to create either a relationship or a good business par partnership is impossible to be uh, to be established just on the contrary the lovers card here points that the challenge is going to be to extract the uh, the productivity out of those two visions if I may express myself that way and to combine them in one narrative or in one fulcrum 
uh, which you will have to move toward. The accompanied card that is to be the Two of Swords, and the formation here, it is a active, uh, active supporters. And it does look like that you will have that prone standpoint to make rather quite premature decisions. Just to give you an example for that, you know, you confront, let's say your wife, she tells you a different opinion, like she tells you a different vision that she has for the marriage itself. And you say, no, forget it. That's not going to work. We're going to divorce. All right. So without even think about it, you kind of like do what, whatever you think is right. Well, when we do have the two of swords in a challenging position, especially with the lover's card, guys, the card says that before you decide what you should do moving on forward, you also have to consider all points of view, not just your partner, business partner points of view, not just your wife's or your husband points of view, but maybe also your children points of view, all right? Your friends points of view, your parents points of view, the person you hire point of view also. So you have to consider all points of view before you decide to make any kind of decision. Because with the lover's card, it's also the lover's also represents decisions. And you need to know that there is no right or wrong decision here. It's just you will have to bear the consequences of what you are to decide. And for that reason, you will have to be quite aware what consequences your decisions are to bring to you instead of, you know, being overly emotional here and just speak before you really think and then regret for the rest of your life that you did something you could have done simply better. So that leads us to the third card, which is the positive aspect. What helps you throughout the week? We do have the Tree of Swords. Your poignant experience this helps you. I mean, this card points that you had similar situation in the past. You did it wrong at that point, right? So probably you were emotional back then with an ex of yours, all right? Or you were emotional back then with a uh, with colleague of yours or with you know, with your mother or with your father, regardless, all right? You took your decision um, based on emotions and you hurt yourself and a lot of people that are around you. And on top of that, instead of making progress, that decision bounced you back. So instead of repeating the same mistake back again, well, this card points to the positive aspect. What helps you is your awareness that what you are doing is wrong or what you are about to do should be wrong, it's wrong, all right? So it's kind of like an awareness or the sense of what is right to be done, even though you may not like it. And um, for sure, with the Tree of Swords in a positive position, uh, you are to have that strength to take on those unpleasant, not performance, but let's say unpleasant progress that one can have into one's endeavor. Uh, just for example, let's say you are about to start fixing your marriage, you know, but you have to please your wife a little bit here and there with an, an enterprises that you are, that are not very enjoyful uh, and not very exhilarating for you. Well, with the, the <clears throat> Tree of Swords, it doesn't look like that you will have much problem. Um, investing into those enterprises because you know that this is going to be for the greater good. I mean, you will have that awareness that everything you do have a greater purpose and you will be completely focused on that greater purpose. The accompanied card that is to be the uh, Knight of Pentacles here, the formation, it is a uh, active enemies. And uh, well, this week you are uh, the, the shade that um, Knight of Pentacles adds here, it is a, a very strong one. It's a very s uh, sobering one, if I may express myself that way. And maybe some of you are gonna hate me for saying that, uh, but uh, the Knights of Pentacles here in such a formation points that you are to realize uh, also that will serve you in your favor. You're going to realize that either you have been selfish until this very moment, or what you wanted is not what you needed. Okay, so, or, you know, you didn't knew what you wanted. And now this week, through your poignant experience and through the uh, criticism and as well cooperation with third party people, 
you are to start defining more accurately, you know, what you want for yourself, for your career, for your marriage, for your children, for your family, and so on and so forth. Which leads us to the uh, final card here, which is the card of guidance, and that is the Ten of Cups. So Ten of Cups uh, at that place have a two possible interpretations. The first interpretation is that you got to focus on your blessings, all right? You need to realize how rich you are in the sense of that you may have a, a job that sucks, but hey, at least you have a job, you know? And some people would have killed someone to get your place, all right? Just to have a job. You may be in a relationship that has its problems, but hey, you are at least having someone to love you, all right? Because most people in this world these days doesn't have your fortune, okay? And even can go that that, all right, you may be single, all right, you may have a job that sucks, but you at least have a place to stay because some people doesn't have a place to stay, okay? So you need to become aware of your blessings. That is one way to interpret the card as a guidance in this, uh, this follow-up, which is going to open your eyes for how big blessing, I mean, the cooperation, the awareness of the poignant experience, and as well, the constructive criticism is going to... Be, make you more and more aware how rich um, spiritually, if I may express myself that way, you are. And the other way to interpret that card is uh, the human nature or that point of the human nature when there should be a constant progress into our lives and if you are not capable to do that progress on your own, well then you will have to consult yourself with those who are have achieved more than you so they can tell you the recipe of success and it is what happens throughout the week as well the accompanied card that is going to be the 10 of wands the formation it is a um, passive neutrals here we have double tens which points that this week is going to be a, a prerequisite a, a foundation of a new direction new beginning all right that is coming from the guidance, which is going to be rather difficult to initiate, but it's uh, it promises great things. And with the ten of swords here to the ten of uh, to the ten of cups as a um, passive neutrals, passive neutral, it does represent that you will not have to be frantic by anything. I mean, the, uh, you can save yourself from doing really stupid things, decisions and, and actions, that is, only if you realize, I don't want to say how much you are to lose if you do so, but as well, how much you are going to jeopardize either uh, if you do not try to see the world from also others people perspective, the people that you are um, having a common experience with, common enterprise with, or you're living with, and so on and uh, so forth. So, um, Tauruses, this was your weekly tarot reading for uh, May 6th to May 12th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.